Hi everyone, in this video we'll be exploring the full outer join, also known as the full join. Um, so it's one of the more popular joins that are used. Um, as with the rest, it's used to join two or more tables. So basically, if we were to join two tables um, using this type of join, it would stitch data together using the key fields to blend records together but still show unblended or unlinked records as independent rows. So in a nutshell, the output of this join will result in seeing records from all tables that are being joined regardless of whether or not any keys are able to link to them. It's just that where applicable, records that can be linked will appear linked as blended rows. So let's go ahead and dive into an example now. Alright, so we have our environment set up here. Um, for this demonstration, we're going to be using two tables. So we have the customer table and then we have a sales rep table. So let's go ahead and take a, take a look at the content here. So looking at the customer table, I have seven unique records, seven customers. Um, the third column here is a reference to sales rep. So I have a sales rep ID. Um, we're going to be using this column to join to the sales rep table's primary key, uh, which we'll look at in just a second. Um, I do want to point out one thing here. So you'll notice customer two on this table does not have a sales rep assigned. So that'll be, you know, we'll take a look at what happens there with this join later on. Um, looking at the sales rep table, we see that we have a list of four unique sales reps. Um, obviously their sales rep ID um, as well as their corresponding name. Uh, again, just want to make another notation. If you look here, we have uh, you know, a sales rep ID 4. And if I check again in my customer table, just as a heads up, you know, we don't have you know, we don't have any customer assigned to sales rep ID 4. So just keep that in the back of your minds as we go ahead with this demonstration. So a use case for this type of join might be, hey, I want to see a list of all my customers and all my sales reps. And, you know, whenever possible, if, you know, if the, if the sales rep is assigned to a customer, show me that, you know, show me the link there. And in the event that, you know, I don't have a sales rep assigned to a customer, I want to see that anyway. Just don't link it, but I want to see it in the record because I want to I want a list of all my customers and all my sales reps in one data set. So how we would accomplish that is with an outer join. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that now. So I'm going to go ahead and write my query. Select star from customer. Give that an alias. Full outer join to sales rep with an alias as well. And we're going to be joining on the foreign key. Equals s.salesrep ID. All right, let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So this is the output you would expect to see in a full outer join. Um, you know, we have eight records. If you remember, um, you know, the customer table had seven and then the sales rep table had four. Um, you know, as per the requirement, we have a list of all of our customers and then we also have a list of all of our sales reps. See, even sales rep ID four happens to appear here. Um, customer two happens to appear here. If you've happened to check out the the inner join video, you know the output we, we would expect to see is two less rows because uh, we would essentially just see everything that matches. But because this is an outer join, we also see you know customers that don't have a sales rep, sales reps that don't have a customer, and that's essentially. Uh, you know what a full outer join does it gives you a list of everything it links things that kind of belong and Everything that doesn't belong it shows up anyway in its own sort of independent row if that makes sense So hopefully you guys found this video helpful if so, please give the video a like it really helps the channel out um, If you have any recommendations on how to improve your experience in the future, please do leave a comment below um, And I appreciate your time. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one